Today's topic is bladder cancer. Bladder cancer is a type of cancer arising from the tissues of the urinary bladder. The bladder is a hollow muscular organ in the lower abdomen that collects urine from the kidneys through the ureters for storage and eventually removes urine from the body through the urethra. Bladder cancer is a disease in which cells grow abnormally and have the potential to spread to other parts of the body. Bladder cancer is more prevalent in men than in women and usually affects older adults, though it can happen at any age. Different cells in the bladder can be cancerous and the type of cancer is determined by the type of cell where cancer begins. Transitional cell carcinoma this type of cancer begins in the transitional cell that lines the inner layer of the bladder. It is the most common cause of bladder cancer. These same cells line the inside of the ureter, kidneys, and the urethras, and tumors can form in those places as well. Thus, an individual with transitional cell cancer of the bladder is at risk for transitional cell cancers of the kidneys or ureter. Squamous cell carcinoma. This type begins when flat squamous cells form in the bladder as a result of chronic bladder inflammation or irritation that has taken place over months or years. About 1% to 2% of bladder cancer are of this type. Adenocarcinoma. This type begins in the cell that makes up mucus secreting glands in the bladder. Causes. Doctors know that bladder cancer occurs when something triggers a genetic mutation within the cells in the bladder. This causes normal cells in the bladder to become abnormal and multiply rapidly and continue to accumulate, forming a tumor or mass. Certain risk factors that may increase the risk of bladder cancer are smoking tobacco, as in cigarettes, occupational exposure to certain chemicals, increasing age, being male, having a family history of bladder cancer, chronic bladder inflammation, previous cancer treatment. Symptoms. Symptoms may include pelvic pain, painful urination, blood in the urine, pain in the lower back, frequent urination, urgent urination. Diagnosis and treatment. The condition may be diagnosed with one or more of the following. Urinalysis, a test that can confirm that there is bleeding in the urine and provide an idea if there is an infection. It is usually one of the first tests requested by the doctor. Cystoscopy, which involves inserting a small, narrow tube, or cystoscope, through the urethra. The lens of the cystoscope allows the doctor to see the inside of the urethra, bladder, to examine them for signs of disease. A biopsy, where the doctor inserts a small tool to take a sample of the cells for the test in the lab. Urine cytology, which involves analyzing a sample of your urine to check for cancer cells. Imaging tests, such as CT urogram or retrograde pyelogram, allows the doctor to examine structures of the urinary tract. Stages of the cancer are determined based on how far cancer has spread. This will help the doctor to determine the best treatment option. Tests such as chest x-ray, CT scan, and blood tests can be used to determine your cancer stage. These range from 0 to 4. Stage 0. Cancer is confined to the lining of the bladder. Stage 1. Cancer has spread past the lining of the bladder, but has not reached the muscle in the bladder. Stage 2. Cancer has spread to the muscle in the bladder. Stage 3. Cancer has spread into the tissue surrounding the bladder. Stage 4. Cancer has spread past the bladder to the neighboring areas of the body. Treatment. The stage, your general health, and preference will determine the treatment option. Treatment options may include surgery to remove part or the whole of the bladder, called a cystectomy or to remove cancers confined to the inner layer of the bladder. This procedure is called transurethral resection of the bladder tumor, or TURBT. Radiation therapy that uses powerful energy beams, such as x-rays, to kill the cancer cells. 
immunotherapy, also called biological therapy, that works by signaling your body's immune system to help fight cancer. One such immunotherapy drug for bladder cancer is Bacillus calmet-garin, or BCG, chemotherapy that involves using medication injected intravenously or taken orally to kill the cancer cells. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.